Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to do my second of three recaps here tonight. I'm going to do the Texas Tech TCU game after I get done talking about this game because I recapped South Carolina TC, that top five upset. So now I'm here to talk about Georgia Tech upsetting number three North Carolina 74, uh, 73 reaction. Really fun back and forth game here. Just a, a very shocking upset. Um... I think Nathan George, he had 16 points, 4 assists, 4 rebounds, hit the game-winning layup over, Arm over uh, Armando Baycott. That was a tough shot. That was good defense by Baycott. Uh, just a tough, just a really great shot by Nathan George. And he's a true freshman as well. 6'3", 180, uh, true, true freshman. Just went straight to the rim on Baycott. That was good defense. It just, shot just went in. Um, Kyle Sturdivant, 18 points, uh, oh, come on with the stat sheet, uh, 4 assist, um, Miles Kelly, 15 points, 5 rebounds, so, their three guards, uh, had each 15 plus points, for, uh, North Carolina, just, they really struggled to make the three ball, they made one, I know, in the second half with Harrison Ingram, and then they got a steal, or um, by R.J. Davis, got late to take the lead. That's what led up, and then Georgia Tech the, got that pretty much game-winning layup, got a clutch defensive stop. Just the three ball wasn't falling for North Carolina tonight. They just settled for too many threes at times, I thought, instead of attacking the paint. Uh, their free throw shooting was bad as well, 9 of 17. They had a lot of second chances, got 25 offensive rebounds. Like, they done a good job dominating the glass. It was just the three ball. Couldn't fall. They're, the three ball just couldn't fall. 8 of 28, 28.6%. They, they just strove really from everywhere. Besides uh, the rebounding. But Georgia Tech did a really good job in the second half rebounding. 32 defensive rebounds. That rebounded by 7. But just poor, poor free throw shooting from North Carolina. Just poor shooting from all three phases. While Georgia Tech was pretty much... I guess as perfect as a game as you, could, as you could play against this North Carolina team. Shot 41%, 47.4% from three, 15 to 17 from the line. Done a really good job on the defensive glass. Man, I know it says 25 offensive rebounds, but they had 32 defensive rebounds. Good, big win for Georgia Tech. Huge, huge upset. I don't know how they pull off this upset because I was not expecting this. And you say, oh, you, that miss caught the end. It really shouldn't have been that close of a game. That's a big win. You've been capable of this multiple times this season, Georgia Tech. They just haven't pulled out games. And Pierce, oh, the, the court storm, I guess, was bad, but everyone thought a foul was called. So that's probably why they, they didn't storm the court at first. They thought, oh, there's probably a foul call, but there wasn't. But... You can't just blame the refs if you're North Carolina. You you shouldn't need the refs to beat a 9 and 11 Georgia Tech team. Georgia Tech Man, I'm just saying. Poor free throw shooting, poor fr uh, shooting from the field and from three. And North Carolina got out to a decent lead early, but Georgia Tech battled back to tie it up at the half. And then it was mostly back and forth game the rest of the way where Georgia Tech had about an eight point lead. North Carolina fought back, even took the lead, then Georgia Tech hit the game winner. It was mostly the difference with the guard play. I saw RJ Davis, they really didn't get much from their guards. Cormac Ryan and uh, Elliot Cadeau. Elliot Cadeau even fouled out. They just got each they got fifteen plus points each from their three guards. Um Tyzane Claw played well, nine points, eight rebounds. Um, off the bench, Got Payer, six points, eight rebounds. He played pretty good off the bench. Three points, four rebounds for Dallin Coleman off the bench. They done a really good job rebounding uh, the basketball. For North Carolina, it was mostly the R.J. Davis show. 28 points, four assists, five rebounds. I mean, yeah, you got you should have called a foul there, but I mean... He shouldn't ever be in that position. Yeah, he should be at the free throw line and win the game. But I mean, he shouldn't be in that position against a, a bad team on the road. The second half had some weak foul calls. 
really need to get that life insurance. But considering all the foul calls and then not one there at the end is kind of brutal, I guess. I mean, you shouldn't be in that position, though. If it, you can't put yourselves in that position, you just can't leave calls up to the officials. But, but I mean, he kind of ran into the defender, I mean. Or it could be, they could even call it an offensive foul. But if you think the CNC team is bad again and want everyone fire the performance, off nights happen. The uh, other opponents have scholarship players too. It's sports. Upsets happen. And that's why you love college basketball. So many upsets. A random Wednesday night, two top five teams get upset. I still think this North Carolina team is good. Yeah, he got fouled there in, but you can't, or maybe he didn't, maybe he just ran to him. Could have been an offensive foul even, but I mean, just tough shooting night for the Hills, and you just can't let it come down to that. But, it happens. Sometimes you have off nights, and this is one of North Carolina's off nights. They're not a bad team. Um, they'll probably bounce back. I mean, they'd won 11 straight games. You're bound to lose a game. Even if it's too bad, Georgia Tech team. I mean, I shouldn't say bad, because they've had a lot of close games weren't able to come up clutch. It's, they're not that good. But, you know, they have scholarship players. I mean, they want to come out there and prove themselves get big wins. Uh, here's Sangram, 8 points, 13 rebounds, um, 3 assists. He's been really good for him this year. He's been so, so nice for that North Carolina team. Baycott, 9 points, 2 assists, 9 rebounds. One thing I'll say is very concerning. I know he's not looking to score as Baycott, but when he's getting eight to ten point, when where he's getting eight to ten points, it's just unacceptable. Especially when everyone else is struggling, he needs to score more. I don't know. He's nowhere near an all-time North Carolina great or all-time great North Carolina basketball player. And the ball screen coverage he had in that game when a layup wasn't good, but I mean he contested it well. It just happened to go in, but. But great take by Nathan George on Baycott to win that game. Um, Cordo, uh, Cormac Ryan, 9 points. Elliot Cadeau, 5 points, 5 assists. He fouled out. Um, Jalen Washington, 8 points, uh, 5 rebounds. I thought he played good for the time uh, he was in the game. Probably should have had him in there uh, down the stretch over um, Armando Baycott, I thought. He could have had him play more down the stretch. Uh, Trimble, 6 points, 2 assists. They used a lot of their depth players tonight. Uh, Jalen Washington's pretty off the bench in Trimble. It was mostly the R.J. Davis show. Harrison Ingram does all the dirty work, getting rebounds, and nails clutch threes. So, but 74-73 win for um, Georgia Tech. It's just hard to win games when two stars combine for 6 for 28. You just can't let these top. You just can't let it. Call, you can't play that. You shouldn't need a bound against Georgia Tech. I mean, I'm just saying. They just didn't take them uh, as a threat and paid for it. So Cormac Ryan probably had his worst game of the season. And just take it, everything they throw up in the second half, and your starting point guard gets 5,000 10 minutes. But North Carolina had a lot of free throws in the game and missed them and shot poorly from three. But yeah, it's really all to say here. Good win for Georgia Tech. And two top five upsets and just a random Wednesday night. That's why college basketball clears. But yeah, it's all to say here until next time I'm out. Peace.